Welcome home. Oh, did I spook you? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I pulled in just a little after you. So I thought I could catch up if I hurried. Not my fault that you're that easily spooked. Hey, <laughs> I thought we'd agreed on no violence in this household. Ow! Okay, ow, okay, truce, 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 truce. <laughs> You're a mean one. Uh-huh, that's nasty. Hey, 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 you put that hand down. I don't think I didn't see that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I was supposed to get home earlier, but Mrs. Davis, that old crone living a few houses down. Yes, that one. She asked if I could run some errands for her while I'm out, so I did. No, I still think she's an unpleasant old prune. Don't get me wrong. But you know me. I always find it hard to say no to people. At any rate, she's not going to be a problem anymore, so there's that. Yeah, she mentioned something about moving up north with our daughter. Winter's been getting a bit much for her these days. She never told you that. Huh, that's odd. Honestly, she'd been talking my ear off this entire afternoon. Never thought I'd see the day where she pass up the chance to gossip. Though I'm sure if you stop by... She'll gladly tell you about that in great detail. <laughs> oh, you should have seen the look on her face when I said that. Priceless, really. Now, how about you go freshen up? I can get dinner started while you do. You sure? I know it's your turn to do it tonight, but you really had a long day and all. I can get it done instead. All right. Tell you what, how about this? We can both get dinner done tonight. It'll be a lot faster that way. Besides, it's been a while since we last made anything together, so this should be fun. You can be my, um, what do you call that? So chef. <laughs> okay, you have a point. We're equally as bad. So what are we thinking? Chicken, nah, fish, no, we already had fish. Pasta, yeah, 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 we can do pasta. I'll get the ingredients. Yeah, ingredients. <laughs> hey, 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 don't laugh at me. It's been also a long day for me, okay? Uh-huh, sure. Like you never misspoke once in your life. <sighs> it's okay, I got it. Um, what else do you want to add into it? Mushrooms? Okay, I'll get that too. And... Okay, that's a lot. Shall we begin, chef? <clears throat> yes, chef. I'm ready too. <laughs> so... How did your talk with Margaret go? You still on for Saturday? Yeah, that makes sense. Sort of figured that you wouldn't be able to get away. Considering how work's been so hectic for you lately. It's okay. Don't sweat it, babe. You can always reschedule or work around it. Besides, come to think of it, now probably isn't the best time to be going out anywhere in the first place. Especially not after your team found a freshly made nest of one of those things. It's crazy to think about how quickly those monsters manage to get past defenses and integrate themselves among us. Oh, yeah, management had a field day with it. I'll tell you that. So much time spent covering everything up. Not enough spent on actually catching those buggers. It's... Really ridiculous. <sighs> At least they made it a point to install panic buttons in everyone's home. I mean, with us living way out here, 
help. It would still take a while to arrive, but this'll get it through faster. Your best bet in the meantime would have been to do whatever you can do to delay the inevitable. Which is why you're so keen on continuing this little charades of ours, isn't it? Hoping that I wouldn't catch on to your attempt to signal for help? If you just pretended to be unaware. Oh, come on now. You can't out-pretend a pretender, baby. You should have learned that by now. Hmm. I hate to dash your hopes, but reinforcement isn't coming. The panic button in our home has long since been tampered with, after all. Oh, and I wouldn't bother screaming, either. You'll just attract the others. I think I like to keep this neighborhood to myself for a while. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come now. Don't run from me, sweetheart. You had zero problems cozying up to me just a while earlier. <laughs> How'd you find out? I was so sure I got all their mannerisms down after going through the trouble of shadowing them for two whole months. Was it the late return? Hmm. The Mrs. Davis cover story. Mm, I see. Oh, and the mushrooms were a test. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the thing that would catch me out, that one thing that would catch me out, would be the damn mushrooms. I'll be damned. Guess I should have watched them closer, huh? The devil is always in the details, after all. Hmm. What do you think happened to them? very same thing that happened to all your neighbors, of course. I ate them. It's a quiet neighborhood and you often don't return home until late in the night. It makes it easier to pick them all off one by one in preparation for the arrival of my brothers and sisters. Now, it was tricky at first. Rotating between the shapes of multiple others to keep up appearances that this area was safe. But hey, a chance to get closer to a cute researcher like yourself with secrets to die for doesn't come by often. <laughs> You're really asking why I kept you alive after all this time? <sighs> I guess you're right. I could have killed you. Taking your shape and attempted to infiltrate your workplace for information a long time ago. I could even do it now. Just tighten my grip ever so slightly. And rip you into two. But I don't want to. You see, when I ate your partner, I saw what they saw. Felt what they felt. Their regrets, their dreams, their passion, their memories, all of it. Most importantly, I saw you. You were a part of each one of their most vibrant memories. You gave them warmth. You gave them comfort. He's been commended for his bravery quite often throughout his life. But there were times where he didn't need to be brave. He just needed to be safe. You understand that. You gave him that safety without once judging or thinking poorly of him. After all, you gave this relationship your all. But the same couldn't be said about him, could it? All that sneaking around... Hiding secrets. You could never really understand what goes on in his brain of his. And it scares you to know he could just go up and leave one day. Doesn't it? Don't try to lie, darling. I can see it in your eyes. 
You know what I'm talking about. Must have been so painful to lie in bed at night beside someone you love, listening to his breathing, soaking in warmth, and yet still feel so terribly alone. And after some point, you don't even know if you're staying because you love him. Or if you're just afraid of losing everything you fought so hard for. There's no reason someone as wonderful as yourself should be stuck waiting for that day you outlive your usefulness to others. There's no reason you should be stuck questioning if it's you he loved or... If they just love the false idea of you being able to fix them. I'll be honest. When I first got here, I shouted to both of you. So that I could get in on the organization's plan to hunt my people down. But, the closer I got to you, the more I thought, Why shouldn't I be looking for more? You're interesting. You're intelligent, and you deserve better. Perfect. Better than all than they could ever give you, and I could be the one to do just that. We could be equal. Better than all they could ever give you, and I could be the one to do just that. We could be equals. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed, babe. I know you're angry. I know you feel betrayed and scared. And I know I'm going to have a lot to make up for. Given, you know, all that was necessary to get up to this point. But just I've learned to value you. You will learn to do so eventually. You'll learn to love me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so quick to say never. <laughs> I'm sure you'll change your mind soon enough. After all, once my family's all here. <laughs> Hello Thornlings, thank you so much for watching my video, it's always a pleasure to know that you're enjoying my vids. And if you like it, please, you know, comment down below, like, and always share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to me. And uh, my Patreon's up, and there's a lot of saucy audios there, as well as the lullaby mix. And if you're, if you can wait, uh, October 15 will be the release of Volume 2, so yeah. Thank you so much again, and as always, stay cool. Say what you mean, tell me. I'm